So I'm about 50 pounds thinner, give or take a few pounds, than I was at my heaviest weight of 232. And the following is pictures of me and my family on my mom's side. It's called trial and error. Seriously. This is me and my family, me at my heaviest weight. I don't shy away from that. I'll show you at my heaviest and my thinnest. Not right now, these are just going to be pictures of me and my family on my mom's side. of not marrying can deny all she wants my love for my mom you know my family doesn't doesn't see it's been me and my mom since I was a little girl you know like my mom wrote in her journal when she stayed in that nut I said her daughter you know my family hates my daughter because I gave my daughter money well, there's two schools of thought about that. Some people believe, people that I've talked to recently believe, you know, my mom had a right to give me money. She, I'm her daughter. And others who, who adhere to Marion's philosophy that I took financial advantage of my mentally ill mom. So. All I know is I used the money to live on. It wasn't all at once money, you know. So much, so many bad things happened. And I went a little crazy too. My mom gave a lot, when my mom was sick, she gave a lot of money to this guy I couldn't stand named Frank. He weighed like 500 pounds, I'm sure it's an exaggeration, but you know what I mean, he weighed a lot. And um, maybe we did weigh close to 500 pounds. I couldn't stand him, he didn't like me either. Um, and she gave a lot of money to him when she was sick, you know. She she had her paycheck, that's all, but she gave money to him, you know. I went a little crazy with how Donald was treating me and after he did what he did to me, but that was building up, you know. It was building up. I went a little nuts and then I ran off to, to, um, to... What was it, Minnesota or Miss Con where did I go? Minnesota Target Center, April 7th or something, Nickelback concert. Can you imagine if I had stormed the stage? Well, maybe it would have been better if I did. If I had, you know, I wouldn't, it would have been a peaceful, I would have been arrested, but it would have been a peaceful arrest. You know, it wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have, you know, had a weapon or anything, you know. Um, and, but I would have spent a night in jail, but, I, and I would have had a criminal record, but, I mean, I would have had a record, but for that, you know. And, um, I would have, uh, it would have nipped in the bed. I would have known instantly, oh, he, you're crazy, Laurie, he doesn't care about you at all, you know. No, nope. It didn't. It didn't happen. I wasn't going to do that because in my mind he was going to come for me when he was ready and I was not going to do anything to to make that go faster, you know, or, or try to make it, you know, speed up the process. It's all craziness. I proved to myself how easily I can go crazy. Um, it's not an easy thing to live with, but... Like I've said repeatedly, a long time now, I've never done anything that can get me locked up in the nut house like that. Um, you know, too many, too often. So, in that respect, I'm lucky. You know, I my craziness has at least been controlled craziness. Controlled. 
with me on my high school graduation day. Controlled craziness. Better or for worse, controlled craziness. Would I have been better off if I had simply nipped my fantasy in the bud by just simply running up to the stage? The Nickelback concert that I went to the Target Center one in April of 09 gave Marion more fodder because I just took off and Donald and his mom were terrified of me and then, then you know, they weren't going to let me come back to this place that I had lived for eight years. They weren't going to let me come back and get my stuff. And I, I managed to do it by hook or by crook, you know. I used my mom's credit card. I did what I had to, you know. Those were all my writings. That was my life. If my mom, my mom would understand, you know. My mom was in the hospital at the time. She would understand that I did what I had to. I was in survival mode. Donald and his mom were not going to let me go back and get my stuff. They said, oh, we'll mail it to her. They never would have. It was too heavy. It would have cost them too much. Out of sight, out of mind. Donald had threatened to, to destroy my journals before. You think he wouldn't have, you know, he, they wouldn't care once I was actually gone from there. I was, what do you want? You know, all Marion talks about is she just wants money from her mom. She wants to not work, you know. You have no idea, you fucking cunt. No idea. And the, the family, you say jump, but the family says how high when it comes to me, you know. You have no idea. You have no idea the trauma I've suffered. No idea the trauma I've suffered, okay? Me and my mom and my abusive alcoholic stepfather start off as her boyfriend. In my your life from ages four to twelve. I don't even remember the early years. This is when I first came back. Revisited after being gone for years in LA, ran off to be a star. We all know that didn't happen. Came back fat. Marion was, I'm sure, reveling in my obesity. You know, guaranteed she was reveling in it. Reveling in my obesity. see my other videos, you know, what I looked like before I left and ran off to L.A. To be with my soulmate, to become a star, to whatever you want to think of.
six feet there. like two there I guess. Here I would have been age ten or older, that's when we moved to the blue house.
Like I said, I dress conservatively today.